Next up for the carts is Amsterdam Drift. I'm drifting all through Amsterdam. The place I was at before, or actually uh, last summer, this past summer, I was there. And that's the only Mario Kart Tour track I actually know of and know the inside and outs of and can, like, speak to if it's accurate in any way, shape, and form. And since I already played through this because I, I messed up that recording before, I already know what it's going to be. I'm playing as Red Birdo in the first race. My name is Bobby O Man coming at you. That's Grand Central right there. That's where you go into basically the Amsterdam City Square, which is pretty iconic. There's, uh, I guess, a, a tram system. I didn't really see the tram system. I mostly stayed within the the main Amsterdam city when I was um, traveling all around. So you have the very, I guess, touristy Times Square-ish parts. So over here is like the countryside where they have all sorts of uh, tulips and whatnot, windmills. I didn't see any of that, actually. I only saw the very inner city. So like the canals and then you see these streetcars and stuff like this stuff I did actually see. And it is pretty accurate. I mean, obviously, it's Mario Kart. It's very, like, much more vibrant and minimalist compared to, you know, most other situations. So it, it ends up working out really nicely. Going in the canals was definitely something you, you don't want to do. But if you end up doing it, then, you know, you just take yourself out of there and you're good to go. Um, the canals are a super important aspect at Amsterdam because that's how they used to travel all sorts of cargo between different areas and whatnot. And something I haven't noticed on the very top of these buildings. Why am I? It's such a battle for first place for no reason. Like, I don't I don't understand why, but whatever. So the main thing that I noticed that I don't see here is that at the very top widow's peak of the buildings, there are these posts that stick out of the very top of the buildings. And normally what that does is it allows buildings from way back then to carry the cargo off the boats in the canal up onto the street, right? So that's a thing that I, I do not see here. I didn't see, like, rarely any tulips, anything at all while I was in Amsterdam. So maybe it was just a very touristy thing that I didn't go, you know, going to a very romantic tulip-inspired location in Amsterdam was not on my list of things to do. Also, you know, what am I going to go look at tulips by myself? Like, oh, look how alone I am looking at tulips. I don't, I don't need to do that. You know, uh, something not related to me being alone in Amsterdam, which I actually, I wasn't. I had friends with me, no, no significant other to share that with. But in the last Mario Kart video where I was doing the Moon Cup as of recently, I said, hey, you know, King Boo should be a playable character in this game. King Boo already is. Totally forgot that King Boo was added into the game. So I guess he was a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Edition. I think I remember that accurately now that I'm like my memory is jogged and whatnot. So I totally forgot King Boo is a character in this game. And I'm like half tempted to play as King Boo just to like further jog my memory. But clearly I'm just not remembering things at all. So the point stands about upcoming characters and stuff. I want to see a, a different outfit for King Boo. I want to see the purple King Boo from Luigi's Mansion. As a, as a skin. I think that's one of the things they could do and maybe as a nice surprise for all of us, right? Instead of just having characters, you could add some skins to existing characters like they did with Yoshi, right? That was like the very first thing they added was different uh, multicolor Yoshi, which is actually pretty sweet. This is a GBA course, by the way. I've never played on this course before, besides obviously the little bits I have uh, right here or whatnot. That's a cool thing, hey. Give yourself a little mini boost by shooting these uh, piranha plants with the green shell. That works out pretty swiftly. Cool. This being a GBA course, you could tell because it has those blocks over there. But also, you know, they had a bunch of these GBA courses over the past however long in Mario Kart. And they all look totally brand new. Like, they're not flat like they are in the GBA game. So it's like, these are essentially brand new courses. They call them remasters, but these look absolutely nothing like they did in the original game. So I always call them new. I mean, pretty much every single track in the game is new to like some extent, like nothing looks like it did previously, which is really cool. So however you feel about it, they're new to me. So that's good by me. I have uh, this cup and then one more cup to play. 
but then I'm actually competing in a Mario Party championship sort of deal for charity. Not a championship, but at least an event. So I'm going to be doing that. Very excited about doing that. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about compared to last time was all, all the Super Mario stuff that was announced for Mario Day DK Summit on the Nintendo Wii. Wow, we love Mario Kart Wii, obviously. And having it here in this is great. Especially the, the KK Slider reference here. Wow, throw it through the wow. Which I was totally geeking out over when I heard that voice modulation effect used in this uh, track. So, very clearly Animal Crossing esque inspired. Ooh, look at me taking those turns. Diving deep down there. Looking real swanky, for sure. So, yeah, they announced a whole bunch of stuff. Well, actually, not a whole bunch of stuff, only uh, a light amount of things for Super Mario Day. They announced that there was a Dry Bowser's Castle arriving and a Donkey Kong figure that is not a, a, what do you call it? It's not a interactive digital figure like Mario, Luigi, and Peach. It is just an NPC character. You essentially ride Donkey Kong's back and when Mario reads the tile on the back of Donkey Kong, that's when Mario inherits all of the the sound effects of Donkey Kong as if Donkey Kong were a playable character. So they're kind of doing that approach for those sort of things, which they should have done that for Yoshi, full stop. Like they, they absolutely should have done that, but I guess they'd rather do that with Donkey Kong. So it would have made way more sense having that as a Yoshi thing. But I suppose that was not on the menu, whatever. So Dry Bowser's Castle looks really cool. It goes for like $110, it's got 1300 pieces to it. So both Donkey Kong and Dry Bowser, which they only announced the Donkey Kong NPC. They didn't announce the set. They just announced that he's like coming in a set eventually in August. So whatever. The Dry Bowser set, I'll start with that, looks cool. It's basically a remaster of the Bowser's Castle that came out in 2020. So it's way better done, has what seems to be a lot more play functionality. You have uh, better details like a giant set of chains that's holding down the entire castle in the very front, like a drawbridge style thing. There's a lava blarg, which is pretty sweet. There's no dry bones in this one, but there's also uh, a bone goomba. There's a bone piranha plant. So there seems to be more substance and like a decent amount of stuff compared to what you got in previous uh, courses like that. And you also get a purple toad as a NPC, which is sweet. And then yeah, dry Bowser itself, which Looks like Bowser, a little bit more bulky, I think, than the typical Bowser figure. And then, uh, yeah, there's like a section where Mario can lift weights and then like pump iron. I don't know why. I actually never played the game that Dry Bowser is from, so whatever. Um, they were building up a, a demonstration, like a Nintendo Direct, that's like, hey, everybody, be here at this time. Look at this premiere. See how this thing goes. And, and figure it out for yourself. Yoshi's Island, this is one of the coolest new courses of the, uh, of any of the DLC courses so far. Final Race here, obviously I'm playing through in 200cc as well, but hey, here's this, you know? Taking all the sights as I reminisce how I felt about all this going, going forward and going into this, right? So, obviously when you say, hey everybody, tune into this thing, right? You can make it a big deal, big announcement, it's gonna be a whole jam-packed thing, right? And uh, it wasn't. All they did was they talked about uh, the Dry Bowser set as the first thing. They did a little bit of backstory on how, mm, what's it, Bowser, the regular Bowser, was there. And like, you know, you obviously have the, the $270 whatever version of Bowser. So they were talking about that a little bit. They were also talking about, ooh, did I get this? No! I've been meaning to get that every single time I played on this, which was only like five times, but still. Haven't managed to land that yet. Once you get that, you go on a little bridge and slide through those flower sections there. It's actually pretty sweet, but not quite yet. That's fine. I'll just avoid the shy guy on stilts and call it a day. So when you say, hey, everybody show up and do this thing, there's a certain level of expectation. When you ring the bell, you rally the bell of people to show up and hang out, right? And then, and then it's fairly lackluster. It, it really disappoints people. Like obviously announcing Donkey Kong is cool, but you don't need to like rally cry all the, wow, that should have hit you for sure. Um, you don't need to sound off the alarm to have everybody there. You could just drop like a little video on an impromptu Mario day sort of thing. And like, that's that. You don't necessarily need to make it a whole big deal. 
and it would have been better off if they had just slyfully announced it. Oh, I'll do that. That's fine. Hey, man. Meow, meow. You can, you can take that loss. I'm going to slide right by you real quick. Thanks a lot, guy. So anyways, they, they had that. They had somebody present some of the Peach sets that were, like, existing for almost six months now. So it's like, hey, here's a little advertisement for Peach in case you didn't already buy it, which is, you know, anybody who already wanted to buy it from the very beginning after this holiday season, you know, they, they're not going to need that much more convincing to buy it, right? They don't need that reminder. They need it to go on sale. That's why Peach wasn't selling the way they maybe wanted it to. Doing a little advert in the middle of this presentation doesn't really matter all that much. So whatever. Can I get it, please, this time? Right here, right here. Come on, no. This thing is impossible. Oh, somebody else got it. And I can take this right over to here, right through the flowers. Bada bang. Look at that. Wow. I lucked out hardcore on that one. Jeez. All right. Well, there's a 60. Clearly, I got my three stars and I'm ready to rock and roll. But I'll elaborate on how I feel about the Mario Lego presentation they had today for Mario Day. Well, you're watching this after the fact, but in general and uh, what I think will happen going forward. Just give me my stars. Give me the stars. Give me the stars. Yeah, three stars. And just so you know, this does uh, get pretty spicy on 200cc, especially the Amsterdam area where you're way more likely in real life actually to get hit by a bike than you are to get hit by a car. Because there's way more bikes than cars in Amsterdam. They just have a, a very particular thing about that, I guess because of the way the city, the infrastructure is, or whatever. So keep that in mind if you ever go to Amsterdam. Don't uh, don't get hit by a bike. Pro gamer tip. Just make sure you look out for all those bikers. Unfortunately, it, it nearly happened to me like once, especially as I first landed because I was so tired. I was so jet lagged from being on the plane. I didn't actually sleep on the plane, and it was like a... Must have been like a seven hour flight, something like that. And then the time changes and whatnot. It was just, no, it was actually less than seven hours. We had a little bit of a wind drift back in the up. It might've been like six hours. So it was a long flight, obviously, but you know, I didn't end up sleeping on it. And so when I landed, it was like super early in the morning. Like I, I my plane took off at like 8 p.m. and I landed at like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. It was kind of ridiculous. So trying to navigate the, the train system, like literally that right there on like no sleep is like a bad move. That is not a pro gamer move at all. So if you ever have a red eye flight, that's what it's called, a red eye flight. When you're going from one time, basically when you're going one day to another on your flight, um, try to sleep on the plane, get some noise canceling headphones and all that. But regardless of all that, um, I like this Amsterdam level. It seems pretty accurate. I don't know what that dog was doing over there. Not as many tulips or whatnot, but seeing Grand Central is pretty sweet. All the canals and the streets and stuff. I can definitely feel like I was there based off of just being in that course in of itself. So that's pretty sweet. So Donkey Kong, they're going to do what? Bananas as a collectible? Donkey Kong country themed courses, hopefully. Not just a bunch of... Um, Mario environments with Donkey Kong <clears throat> with Donkey Kong being like the main part of it right because if you end up looking at the way Mario and Donkey Kong looks it looks like Mario is riding Donkey Kong like how Mario rides Yoshi in every other Mario game so like there's never been a situation in any Mario game ever where Mario has ridden Donkey Kong like that so it's like super out of the blue super weird um, and why didn't they do that with Yoshi, you know? So what I'm hoping for is each of the levels are based off of something Donkey Kong Country related. So we're going to see like clap traps. Ideally, we have like a King K. Rule minifigure or not minifigure, a, a buildable figure, whatever, like something like that, just so it's spicy and we can get more variety in terms of characters and whatnot. Because we've done a, We've had a lot of Super Mario characters and we're really... I feel like in the past three years, we are really whittling down the list, like, hardcore on what Mario characters we can feature in this series that aren't, like, you know, repeats or unnecessary in whatever way. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. But I feel like we're really hitting the, the bottom of the barrel. I'm sure we're not, and there's way more that I'm not thinking of. But in general, it just seems like there's uh, not much more room to go with uh, Mario Kart. Or, I'm sorry, Mario... Super Mario stuff in general. 
play a Mario Kart here. That's what people were hoping for today. They were hoping for a Mario Kart announcement. And I knew that wasn't going to happen because uh, Lego never does anything that you expect they're going to do. They're doing the exact opposite thing of the thing you expect them to do. So everybody expects them to do minifigures based off of Mario, but we all know that's not going to happen. There's a better chance of me selling quadrillions of books across all the multiverses than that ever happening. And I'm really confident in my children's books. So like, you know, if I can make that happen and Lego can't make that other thing happen, then hey man, meow meow, you know? So whatever. I'm looking for, like, I'm going to buy all of it like I'm a sucker. Like I've said, I've said this a thousand times before. Obviously, I'm going to buy it. Obviously, I'm going to talk about it and endorse it. That was a very delayed reaction, Lakitu. Wow. You see that? He's like, let me go all the way down the pit of despair before actually gathering me. Jeez. Um, like, I'm obviously going to get all of it. And Donkey Kong looks good for not being a playable character. But Donkey Kong... Just like Bowser does not deserve to be relegated to an NPC character. I want to see him as a playable thing. But if they're not going to do a Donkey Kong playable character, then there's no other character that exists in the Mario universe that they could possibly sell for $60 as a playable figure in general. If it's not going to be Yoshi, if it's not going to be Toad or Donkey Kong or Bowser, there's nobody. Like, you can't do Daisy, you can't do Wario, you can't do Waluigi. So that's why I firmly believe we're not getting any more interactive figures like this is going to be it. And then whenever they decide, hey, this play series is done, we're done with it and we're going to move on, then that's going to be it. But Donkey Kong, I don't think is enough to invigorate more life into the Super Mario play system. You know, you have a situation where all these characters have come out. They're $60 each. Like I know probably... Like, there's young kids that are like, oh my goodness, I want every single one of these things. But, like, it's super expensive. And, you know, you're not going to win over more people by releasing Donkey Kong. You're just going to be getting the same people, right? And the point of Lego sets and how they do stuff, they want to get new people. They want to get new eyes involved or, or more bank accounts into the mix. So, you know, having more Donkey Kong stuff doesn't really make a whole lot of a difference. They, they have the people like me who will buy everything. You have the, the, the kids who want to buy one of everything, and that's pretty much, pretty much it, you know? So I'm looking for something new to invigorate the Super Mario thing in general. They could do Yoshi's Island, dude. Do a whole Yoshi's Island thing. I don't know. So it feels like the place... I mean, I've said this forever, though. It feels like the play system is uh, whittling down, I guess, if they're not going to release a new character. So maybe that's just me. But I, I have to remain optimistic that I'll get my Ultimate Collector Series Peach's Castle. It is horrifically unlikely. But I have to stay positive, because if I'm not positive, then what else am I going to be, you know? You can't, you can't lead life uh, negatively, and it's one of those things like, hey, I got to rely on a multi-billion dollar corporation to do the thing that I want them to do, and I have no input or, or say or decision-making power or influence in making that happen. I just kind of have to wait for it to happen if it's ever going to happen. I could make my own, but I want a Lego set. I want to see the box on store shelves. I want to feel the box in the store for myself. And I want to make it widely accessible for people to have, you know? I could I could pay someone, you know, a fat stack of money. I mean, I, I wouldn't. Not that I could. I felt like, you know, I could and then make one custom for myself, but that's kind of boring. You know, that's kind of goomba like oh i was so close every time now yeah, well, actually the last time before this i wasn't really close but whatever there we go give me all these bowser oh somebody got the bridge that's cool so at some point before i am lowered into the uh the abyss of nothing and you get thrown into a pit of lava uh hopefully i get my peach's castle but not counting any chickens before they hatch in the meantime I can just hope to accomplish my hopes and dreams based on what I want to see happen and come to reality, which is definitely more with my own children's book and all that stuff, you know? So, oh, yeah, I was nowhere near close. I was obscured, right? No way I could see that here. Not a chance it was going to work out for me. Is Bowser going to pass me? Uh, no one's going to pass me. I'm good. Is that all of it? Yeah, it is. Look at that. And Poochie was awake for that one. We got the chain chomps happily 
doing their thing in the background, and there we go. Birdo is saved. Not saved, but Birdo is doing the Birdo thing. So, there's my three stars there for uh, the Fruit Cup, which is not like a Fruit Cup Fruit Cup, but like the Yoshi Fruit Cup. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to play through the next DLC course. Uh, that is the... I don't remember what cup, but it's a cup. I'll play it. I'll talk about whatever else vent about Mario. I don't know. But that's it for me. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.